I've asked this before, but every week they've been winning ugly games. Like, I don't think they've won a game more than 14 points. And they've won 10 games this season. They've only lost one game. That loss was to the Jets, which they should have won that game. It would have been 11-0. and But the real question is, are these ugly performances sustainable by, uh, by the Eagles? Granted, these last two weeks were rainy. They were sloppy games at the Chiefs and, and here at home for the Bills. But the Bills had the ball in the red zone. They were this close. So winning that game and we could have been talking about something different so are these ugly performances by the eagles you know worrisome or do people just not care because they're 10 and 1. i mean obviously they're worrisome but i can't i can't care anymore i mean what they're, they're 10 and 1 like like obviously this is not ideal at all you do not want to do this day in and day out but the reason why i'm not worried as much is that the games aren't close because the other team is at the same level as the eagles the games are close because the eagles are making dumb mistakes like botching a handoff you know the tip pass which is actually that was a good defensive play just more so the eagles just making bad plays that ends up making the game close rather than the actual other team you know being on par with the eagles so that's why i'm not too worried about this although it is 11 weeks in the season you would like to see this get cleaned up i've been wondering this after the game how big of a win was this i mean we saw the dallas cowboys just absolutely demolish the commanders on thanksgiving they're eight and three now. The Eagles were nine and one heading into this game. If they had lost this game, which I thought they were gonna lose for like 90% of the game. So they had lost I. this game, they would have been nine and two. They would have just been one game ahead of the Dallas Cowboys, which would have made that last, that second matchup in AT&T Stadium that much more important. But now they're two games ahead. Just seems like this was a huge win, especially heading into two games against the 49ers and then the Cowboys. Yeah, this, this was a huge win, but not necessarily just because of the Cowboys and 49ers both winning this weekend. It really has to do with the fact that the Lions lost because the Eagles, they don't play the Lions uh, on their schedule. If the Lions just won out and the Eagles just happened to slip up against their admittedly harder schedule, the Lions could have gotten the one seed, even though they may not be the better team. But now because of this and because the Eagles play the 49ers and the Dallas Cowboys, they control their destiny. And on top of that, they're two games up. So that even if they get to the Dallas game, there's a chance that even if Dallas wins, they still won't have the division lead. It's a good point. The matchup against the 49ers and the Cowboys are going to be extremely vital. And we'll really see the true test of the Eagles and if Brian Johnson can actually call a good game for all four quarters and not just rely on Jalen Hurts' magic in the fourth quarter. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe and check out this video here on if the Philadelphia Phillies are gonna go trout fishing this off season.